This is the aftermath of the attack that killed Major General Jafar Mohammed Saad. The car he was traveling in is engulfed in flames. Saad was sworn in as governor two months ago. He was a close ally of President Abdul Rabo Mansour Hadi, who returned to Aden from exile in Saudi Arabia. The governor moved about in a convoy of about five cars. It was heavily secured. He knew he was going to be targeted. He knew an attempt was inevitable, so he moved cautiously. Uh, over the past two weeks, uh, multiple militia groups blocked him from entering his own office in Aden, so he knew the situation was precarious. Saudi Arabia and its allies launched a military campaign in March against Houthi rebels who had taken over the capital Sana'a with the support of forces loyal to former President Ali Abdullah Saleh. Although the conflict began with airstrikes, the coalition has sent ground forces. A loose alliance of anti-Houthi fighters backed by troops from the UAE drove Houthi rebels out of Aden five months ago. But security remains a challenge in this port city. Saad's convoy was attacked in the Tawahi district. The area has become a stronghold for armed groups, including some which are linked to Al-Qaeda. You have a lack of security inside Aden. There are multiple factions fighting to fill the power vacuum inside the city. And that is why you see a lot of people with guns and a lot of assassinations in the city. Just a day before Saad's killing, President Hadi held talks with the UN envoy to Yemen. They discussed how to restart peace talks between pro-government forces and Houthi rebels. But it's unclear what impact Saad's death will have on those talks. Mohamed Ado, Al Jazeera.